We present Render Me 360, a large digital asset library and benchmark towards high-fidelity head avatars. Synthesizing human head avatars is one of the most popular fields in the intersection of computer vision and graphics. There are massive arousing downstream tasks. For example, 3D head reconstruction. Great research efforts have been proposed from linear parametric model to neural parametric one. For novel view synthesis, improvements have been done by making use of the correlations in 3D models or 3D facial key points. Recent works tried to learn NERF or implicit morphable models to synthesize novel expressions. Furthermore, audios are synchronized with video to explore NERF representation for better mouth movement synthesis. To get better performance on tasks related to 3D head realistic rendering and reconstruction, high quality dataset is needed, but existed datasets only focus on limited parts. They either share limited diversity or aren't suitable for high quality full head reconstruction. To overcome the limits and facilitate the development of research community, we present RenderMe360 dataset, a large scale multi view dataset with high fidelity, high diversity, and rich annotations. Let's check what kinds of data has been collected into dataset first. We captured 12 expressions for each subject, there are 1 neutral and 11 non-neutral ones, every expression is holding on for at least 1 second to achieve better capturing performance. For speaking sentences, we split our sentences into Chinese and English and recorded with synchronized audios. To extend diversity of geometry, motion, and appearances, we collected subjects wearing wigs with continuous head movements. Except the raw captured image sequences, different kinds of annotations are applied on captured videos, such as matting, 2D, and 3D landmarks, flame parameters. In addition, we also provide text attributes, high-quality texture map and scan mesh. We collect 500 subjects with high diversity and fine granularity, we did a comprehensive analysis of data statistics to show more details. Our dataset covers four ethnicities and is gender balanced. Every subject was captured with 60 synchronized HD cameras at 30 frames per second. Camera views are divided into four groups based on rotation angle with Y axis. Front and mild side views are convenient for face fitting algorithms, extreme left and extreme right views are challenged for landmark detection while back views are helpful with hair reconstruction. To extend variety of face shapes, we also captured young kids, seniors, overweighted and skinny subjects. Parts of Asians are captured with special clothing and head accessories, while others not, therefore, distributions of head accessories are only calculated among Asians, and head accessories are grouped into seven categories based on styles. We have seven styles for wigs, each one has different colors. We randomly sampled eight to 12 wigs for captured subjects, Wig styles are not specified for gender. We calculated word frequency for Chinese and English separately. From the cloud visualization, word frequency is indicated by the size of each character, the most frequent words are shown with big font to highlight. Except the raw captured data, annotations are taking a huge part in our dataset, we show the information of key annotations here. Except for flame, other key annotations are all performed on expression, wig, speech videos. We evaluated our dataset with quantitative and qualitative results to serve as benchmarks for future research. For novel view synthesis, methods are split into two groups, case-specific and generalization. For case-specific tasks, same subject is used for training and testing, we tested unseen expressions. As shown, news shows smoother and cleaner result and outperforms other methods. For generalization tasks, test set contains seen subject with unseen expressions and unseen subjects. All three methods could synthesize reasonable novel expressions for seen identities. Keypoint Nerf has the best performance in face region. For unseen identities, performances are quite similar with seen identities unseen expressions, which implies these methods are quite robust. For novel expression synthesis, camera views are fixed this time. We trained each subject with selected expressions and tested the rest of unseen expressions. IM avatar could generate recognizable novel expressions, although the inner mouth is hard to simulate properly. For hair rendering, we evaluate two state-of-the-art methods on our dataset. As we can see, NSFF could synthesize clearer face and more consistent head movement.
For hair editing, we apply style clip and hair clip on our dataset. We use PTI and HyperStyle separately to project original image to latent space first, then use style clip to do hair editing. E4E and Restyle E4E are executed first to get latent values for hair clips separately. Since our dataset contains speech visuals and audios, it can also serve for talking face synthesis. We tested AD nerf and SSP nerf on Chinese and English sentences separately. SSP nerf shows clearer upper body and better mouth movements. Wow. In the biology and the engineering departments. Mind before a police magistrate and committed to new gate. Please check our paper for more quantitative values. In summary, RenderMe 360 is a large digital asset library with high quality high fidelity and rich annotations, and we provides benchmarks for future research references. Thank you for watching.